High ball towards full forward. Marich was up there, couldn't mark. Mzungu with a clearing kick and five. Oh, he's dropped the mark. Danger now. Gathered by Martin to put them in front. It's across the face. It bounces out of bounds. Let's have a look at that last effort. Now, Vickery oh, went with missed. the boot. Hit the um, it's hit the goal umpire, though. And so... I reckon it might have, the goal umpire might have stopped it going through. Well, I'm not sure that it crossed the line. Well, I think the goal umpire... The in the rule book, he stretches to infinity. Or, if you like, he's the goalpost. Well, the bottom line is Vickery should have marked the ball. If in doubt. No, it's hit the goal umpire. It would have well, gone through for goal on pretty... Anyway, it didn't, but it hit the post eventually. Mundy smothered off the boot. Well, it goes about five metres. Plenty of class here for the Tigers. Cochin to Deledio. But the numbers favour the Dockers emerging with it. Fife slips a hand pass into the path of Hill. Hill knees it forward and it runs away from him and goes out of bounds. But you see the umpire stand against the post. See, he should be behind the line, but yep. he's in front of the line. Poor goal umpire. Yeah, but if it does hit him, that's the rule. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but hit him is just to play on. Opportunity for Deledio. Slips it across towards a teammate in Greg. Again, they're relentless, the Tigers. Trying to win this game. White blistering speed. He should score. He's, got He's kicked the goal with the outside of the right boot. Don't tell me the Dockers could be denied in the last gasp again. I think he said, if I'm going to kick it straight over Tyson to wrinkle his head. I'm not taking the chance again that he's going to mess it up. Just a little bit of freshness and speed when everyone else is just starting to fade. He's uh, shown that last couple of times, uh, Matt White. And that is so difficult to do. He's running away from his natural right foot arc and almost lets kick it on the instep. That is just an unbelievable goal there by White. Well, guys, don't forget Richmond lost six games from under 13 points last year and they lost a lot of these close ones. All summer the talk was, what have they learned? Tactics in place yeah. to win these games? Let's see what happens now. Still well, got equal numbers. Yeah, There's no, no loading defences or anything like that at this point. They've still got six forwards, Richmond. Can you believe this? Richmond with the last three goals of the game to lead by five points. 20 minutes since a Fremantle goal and the ball will be bounced. So it's always the thing with the Dockers when they play that really strong defensive press. They just leave themselves no, open for quick goals against. They look like an 11 or 10, 12 goal team if the opposition can get more. Down on the bench, oh. they're trying to yell for numbers back. Here's Fife then sends it long. Walters lurking dangerously trying to run onto this football. Well done, Rance. Did he push him in the back? Umpire's there and says no, throw it in. But just to point on that, Richo, I mean, should you really need to go to the bench to know you've got to push numbers back when the situation's like this? You shouldn't need to be told. You've got to take it on yourself as a player. I think, Tom, you know that. Tossed in quickly, Richmond lead by five points into the post. Not a bad result for Freeman. That's yeah, a very good result. I think uh, uh, Justin Marriage is saying, which is the Ruckman is my opponent? Because there's three Ruckman up here. Sense of deja vu after that bomber's game. His fourth 20 minutes between goals for the Dockers. And what a time for the little man to bob up. What a heartbreaker for the Tigers. That's a really interesting call, that ruck contest, because Fremantle had their two ruckmen up. Now, you've got to nominate who's the ruckman, but basically Fremantle, both their ruckmen competed against marriage, got the ball forward, and Fremantle run onto it. Have a look at this. I guess it's third up, but either way... A couple of things. Not to... quite sure that's the spirit <laughs> Two Ruckman competing. A couple of things to pick up on. There should have been Richmond players yeah, back from forward. the goal. And also that stoppage there, Lee. The goal mouth was just so Absolutely, wide open. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're two basics on how to defend a lead when you've got it. And, guys, this the opposite's happened now. All the free eye players have been calling for everyone to get back straight after that goal. Oh. Yeah. Got to go back to Anzac Day last year. Collingwood and Essendon for the last game to be decided by a point. Less than 90 seconds to play. Have the Tigers got a match winner? Marich trying to get it forward. Fife grabs it for Fremantle. And we'll have another throw up inside the set of circles. You've got Walters deep on uh, Ranch too. That's going to be a tough run for uh, Richmond if it gets forward. Griffin charged by Cochin. Here they come, the Tigers, down towards the 50. Important ball, Mazungu, he fisted away. Here's Ballantyne. He can run onto it and drive Fremantle forward. Out in front of Subin. Now, how will this sit? Might go out. Subin gets there first. Jackson closing the gap. Ball towards Walters. Bounces to Maine. He left it behind. Rance right there with him. They throw it out to Grimes. Not dead. 
third yet. Richmond Ellis with the kick. Just outside the defensive 50, taken by Hooley. Little chip, barely the 15 metres. Martin, we're down to 38 seconds. An eye for the clock now. Martin sends towards the half forward and the first gamer. Hanneth goes up and he's giving the instructions. Calm down, fellas. I've seen all this before. <laughs> right half back, Hanneth. Jack Hanneth from Central Districts. He would have been well scored by Roy Laird as the ball comes across towards Walters. Slung, got boot to ball. We're down to 12 seconds. Tigers, can they come one more time? Ellis, not the kick really. Hooley's got it. We're down to six seconds. Tigers need a mark. High ball. Where's Vickery? He flew. Ball loose at the back. Siren! Fremantle have won by 10 metres.